Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Philip. I'm also known as PS or PS Enough. Today we will be having a video explaining how to know what programs are using what ports, communication ports, network ports on your computer. Uh, I had a question uh, from a person on another video of mine asking, how do you know uh, if port 1935 for Nginx is being used already or not? Um, if it is being used, how do you know which program is using it? And uh, there are some ways to do that, but it's not very known to all the users. So I will uh, show you right now very easily the two commands that you should learn to know about this. Uh, the first one uh, is, well, you need to go to the command prompt to uh, execute it. So just type CMD or command prompt at uh, the starting menu. And you have a window like this. And now if you type netstat, uh, it lists you all the established uh, connections there are being listed. These are, these are the network connections uh, from between your computer. Listening to other computers outside or in the network, it can be established connections, it can be connections that are just waiting, pending, something like that. It's not all of the existing connections. There are a lot of other services uh, around. If you want to have a full list, you type minus A. That's that minus A. And it gives you a more comprehensive list of uh, the ports that are in listening mode as well. And on local server uh, that is only available for your own machine. It doesn't really matter usually. What you really want is to know the PID behind uh, what a port is being used so and for that you type minus a o n so that's that minus a o n and you will see here that you have an extra column uh, listing you the pid for those who don't know what the PI pid is is the program identifier so you have each process that is being run on your computer has uh, a unique id identifying it to the whole computer so that we know for example uh, that uh, the program ID 704 is listening on port 49664, for example. It can be whatever you want. And uh, there are a lot of uh, programs running right now. You can see you can go to over 10,000. It's over 9,000. And yeah, so this way it lists everything. So for example, if you are looking for uh, port 19000, why is it occupied? 19000, it's right here. It's being occupied by a program uh, with the ID 6164. So how do I know which program is the 6164? Um, there's another command called task list that will list you all the tasks currently executing on your computer. So and you will see here a column for the for the PID as well. Uh, was it 6064? I don't remember the exact name. Maybe 6424, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't remember exactly the one we are searching, but it, it's listed here. There's also some ways that you can search. I believe it's slash find and the number of the PID. PID equals, uh, I don't know. I'm going to list one that is listed right here so I know I can find it. 1696. And this one lists only this one. So if you do this again, that's that minus a one. I want to look for six one six four. So I do task list six one six four. It will list me just that one, and it's it's a program uh, SVC host. So it's um, I know it's a local service that's using that. So it's a service. Uh, executed on launch by the computer that is allocating this uh, uh, port for something. Um, you can go through the list on your task manager. If you don't know how to exit task manager, you can do control alt tell. I think control alt escape also opens it up. Clearly not right now, but okay. Control alt tell and then selecting task manager usually works and uh, you can go to uh, start up and see what services you have and explore the services that you have and try to figure out which one is uh, blocking your stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, quick guide just to show you guys how to know uh, which ports are being currently used and what program exactly is taking care of it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them on the comments below. Uh, otherwise, hope this video was useful. See you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.